What news is there, Matthias? Julius, your highness. As a will, the Jew has news. What are you doing here? Did I not tell you to watch over Adonia? Yes, you did. But minutes ago, someone in a carriage helped him uh, escape. Hey! 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 Where are we heading, Galus? We must try to stay out of town for a while. How? The forest is full of hideouts. Greetings, Your Highness, the Ecletian. Julius, what news of Tau? My only concern is for the palace. News from within has been taken outside. Rest assured, Adonia. You are no longer in danger. It's okay. This is not the first time Maximilian has rescued me. He saved my body and soul once before. That must be an interesting story. How so? I was a Christian missionary, promoting the Holy Trinity. One day, Roman soldiers arrested me in the middle of giving a lecture. I do not doubt I would have been killed if Maximilian had not somehow freed me. This encounter made me whole. We would talk for hours, and I learned many things from him. Galus, appreciate your master. He is a great man. I know him very well. So, you know many things about him. I am a Greek slave. I was about 15 years old when Maximilian's father bought me and took me to his home. He is a prominent figure in the Senate of Rome and is very close to Emperor Hadrian. I watched Maximilian grow year after year. He was very bright. And his father employed the best teachers to educate him. They taught him the sciences, crafts and culture of different nations. And it was this education that made him slowly learn to detest the Roman gods their barbarism and their tyranny. To escape from Rome, he readily accepted the mission assigned to him by Diocletian to move to Philadelphia. Yes, his destiny lay in Philadelphia. You look very tired. You had better rest in the shade of the tree. He came to Philadelphia to escape the corruption in Rome. At the time, he didn't know that the atrocities committed in Philadelphia were no less. Why didn't Maximilian return to Rome after witnessing Diocletian's tyranny? Diocletian gave his daughter in marriage to Maximilian so that he would remain in Philadelphia, unaware that Lady Helen would herself become a believer. So, before embracing monotheism, Maximilian had already turned his back on the false gods and idols and was already a believer. Yes, he never believed in the gods of Olympia and was always in search of the truth. He knew who his creator was, but was searching for guidance, a book or a sign from him. Did he not know of the Torah or the Bible? He did and he had read them, but he could not find the truth in them. He would travel to villages surrounding Philadelphia. 
and would make use of his position to help the oppressed and the needy. It was during one of these visits that he witnessed at close range. The savageness of Diocletian's tax collectors. Tell me where you have hidden your oh. money. Tell me! Oh. Oh. Ah. Leave him alone! Leave him! Leave him alone! No! Tell me. No! Ah. Leave him alone, you villains! Ah. Speak up! <sighs> Tell me! Where are you hiding your money? Ah. I where is it? Ah. If I did, I wouldn't give it to you. My life is more valuable than money. Ah. Oh. Where is it? Tell me! Tell me! Speak up! You must pay your taxes! Uh, uh, no excuses acceptable! Uh, Beat them back! Uh, uh, speak, you filthy uh, scum! Uh, Where is the money? Where? Speak up! Tell me! Hurry up! Speak up! Get down on your knees! What's going on here? We are tax collectors. Oh. And this man is refusing to pay up. He's refusing to or he's unable to. That is not our concern. We are here to collect taxes, not to assist the needy. Let him go. Speak up. Tell me. Hold it. And who might you be? A soldier should obey his senior officer, not question him. Set him free. I am a tax collector working for His Highness Diocletian. I do not take orders from you. It seems I must get through to you another way. You look like you've been brought up in the lap of luxury, your highness. I do not think you're capable of getting through to me.
and this is what paved the way for a close relationship between Maximilian and that shrewd old man. Maximilian was severely injured and the old man blamed himself for this. He felt indebted to him. So we took the injured Maximilian to the old man's house, where he treated him with great skill. No need to worry, sir. Tell Telmika and Yovanis to keep an eye on things. If Diocletian asks, they should tell him that I am visiting some nearby villages to take care of some business. Oh. Yes, sir. Do not worry. I will return soon. Take care of His Highness. And this was the start of a relationship between that pious old man and Maximilian. This wound has been wrapped skillfully. Please forgive me. This was all I could do for His Highness. No, it's very well done. Where did you learn to do this? From my ancestors. All the... It cannot be compared to the sciences mastered by the Roman physicians. Oh. Who did this to you? That's of no importance, Your Highness. For hundreds of years, the Romans have lashed at our backs. With cruelty and malice that does not befit civilized people. We are used to it now. I, as a Roman, apologize for that. We Romans consider ourselves to be the most civilized people in the world, but we commit the most savage acts. You are very different from other Romans. But we are very much like other Romans. There is not much difference between us. No, no, that is not the case. May I ask you something? Hmm. Go ahead. Why did you challenge that Roman officer instead of aiding him, Your Highness? I... I do not know myself. All... all I know is that I do not want to be considered a tyrant. Perhaps... it's a need that springs... from deep within. But... To love the world and the pleasures it affords are human instincts. Why do you not strive to achieve Do you them? yourself have reasons for your good and bad deeds? I do not do anything in life without expecting a reward. I am certain all my actions, good or bad, Vice or virtue will have a reward or consequence. And if it is otherwise, life for me is meaningless. Who rewards you for your good deeds? 
Who does your servant look to for his rewards? Mm. His master. His master means you. I'm also rewarded by my master. Every person has their own master. You are trying to tell us that you are rewarded by your god. In my... In my opinion, too, there is no better motivation for doing good. But I am not so foolish as to do good or bad deeds in the name of those ridiculous idols that we built with our own hands. I know that there is a god. I am certain. But what god? I cannot be sure. My god is my creator. But your gods, or should I say the Roman gods, are created by the Romans themselves. No. I cannot trust your god either. Because if you are Jewish, you worship a god exclusive to your people. And I have read that your Torah says the prophets sin and do vile deeds. I cannot accept a god who himself would descend from heaven, walk upon earth, wrestle his prophet, and be defeated by him. <laughs> and if you are Christian, I cannot embrace your god either, because the god of Christians, like that of the Romans, has a son. That is what the Bible says. But this god that you speak of is the creation of Jesus Christ's followers and missionaries, not of himself. They have made Christ's divine religion appear similar to the earthly religion of the Romans, so they might convert people to Christianity. The old man told Maximilian about an ancient Bible. At that time, I did not fully understand such things. But it was apparent that the old man had much to say. Allow me to state my beliefs clearly. I am a monotheist, and I believe in the one and only God. Christ is my prophet, and only him. Is Christ's God any different from that of the Christians? God is the God of all prophets. And the god of the last prophet that is to come, any god other than him, is a creation of our minds. Is this all your personal opinion, or do you have proof to support your claims? I have plenty of proof. But the best reason of all is a scripture more dear to me than my life. Will you allow me to see it? Oh, of course. Why not? The old man showed Maximilian St. Barnabas's Bible, and he did not put it down until he had read every last word. leave the old man's home until he had transcribed a copy for himself. That event and that book was the reason for Maximilian's conversion to Christianity, and afterwards he bade us follow his lead. <laughs> Galus, in fact, Maximilian is one of those nearest to God. He used to tell me that the difference between Christ's teachings and what his followers teach today is like the 
difference between an enormous tree filled with blossom and small, insignificant shrubs. <laughs> However, the scent of its flowers travel long distances. We hope that our bonds with the Romans will be ever strong, Your Highness. Will you allow us to present you gifts from the Jewish people? They are just tokens of appreciation, which signify the friendship between the Jews and the Emperor, as well as his representative and successor, Governor Diocletian. And we will consider your valuable gifts as a sign of your friendship. The contract which was made between His Highness the Emperor and the Jewish authorities in Jerusalem obliges us to cooperate closely with your highness, the governor, and to contribute to the celebrations welcoming the emperor. Hmm? That's what is expected from the emperor's servants. We are also obliged to let the Jews practice their religion freely and conduct their business unfettered. It is, in fact, Roman Empire's responsibility to provide public welfare and peace. However, there is a group of people who disrupt the peace and intend to betray Rome and its gods. <laughs> we have no intention of compromising with them. and will spare no efforts to hound and prosecute them. His Highness must be referring to the Christians. We have also suffered at their hands. They have infiltrated our ranks with their false prophets and fabricated book and have misled the followers of Judaism. Your Highness, Your Highness, I believe we can cooperate further if we put our minds to it by uniting in the fight against the Christians. <laughs> Stop, soldier. They might attack the grave. The best place would be his father Santos's home. No, that is the first place they'll search. We had better take him to the forest. It is safest there.
forgive me, Your Highness. Make way! May God allow the soul of the hero Pluto to join those of the believers of the pious. criminal under surveillance to escape and steal the body of yet another criminal from under our guard's nose. And what has the chief of the legion and the special guards of the city done in response? They have merely issued reports. That's all. I am here to receive orders and request more authority, Your Highness. Listen well, Julius. You have three days to find Adonia and Pluton's body before the arrival of the Emperor in Philadelphia, or else it will be you who will be nailed to the crucifix. And I also demand that you deliver to me those who plotted Adonia's escape and stole Pluton's body. This is good news. So Adonia has escaped. I will never forget the day I met Adonia for the first time. In my first visit to the city, my attention was drawn to Adonia's pottery workshop. Welcome. Welcome, Your Highness. He's a skillful potter. It appears your highnesses have just arrived in Philadelphia. Yes, we just arrived from Rome. We are Diocletian's advisors. One of you must be his highness, Sulimanos. That is him. How did you know? News travels fast in the city. Especially news of the appointment of a new mayor. I am honored to receive your highnesses in my workshop. You've blessed it with your presence. I would like to purchase this vase. High-ranking Romans who have seen Rome in all its glory and who appreciate artifacts crafted by great artists and sculptors should not take interest in the works of an anonymous and worthless potter here in some corner of Philadelphia. That is not the case. There are highly valuable and beautiful pieces of art in this seemingly humble workshop. You did not tell me the price. <laughs> Although it is unworthy of your highness, it would give me great joy if you would accept it as a gift from me. It is impolite to refuse such a valuable gift from a skillful craftsman like yourself. Can you build us a sculpture of Jupiter or Apollon? <laughs> I, I... I'm a potter. I am not a good sculptor. Perhaps you do not want to. Someone who can build such works of art should not be incapable of creating sculptures. Well, if it is an order from your highnesses, I have no choice. No choice but to obey. Make it a magnificent sculpture. We will return tomorrow to pick it up. Are there not plenty of sculptures already in the streets of the city? 
I've been trying to avoid these miscellaneous gaudy sculptures. And here you are, ordering more. If only to play the part, I must have one made for my home. When we went to pick up the sculpture the following day, a strange thing happened. So, Master of Pottery, is the sculpture finished or not? Yes, Your Excellency. It is finished. to your liking. What kind of sculpture is this? I tried my best, Your Highness. I told you before that I'm not a skilled sculptor. You want to take this ridiculous thing home as a sculpture of God? Your Highness, this... This was a sculpture of Jupiter. Are you not afraid that it will take revenge upon you or harm you? No, rest assured, there is nothing that this hideous sculpture can do. I have seen more hideous sculptures among the gods in temples. Do you mean to say that they too are incapable of doing anything? Watch your words, Potter. These questions could get you in trouble. I bow down to these sacred sculptures. These are my gods. But do I not have the right to know if these gods are capable of doing things or not? Do we not need to know why this sculpture did not defend itself when it was shattered? Or whether it will take its revenge or not? You are a very simple-minded, Potter. These sculptures are not gods. They are just manifestations of the gods. Ah, oh, so there are gods that we visualize as such. But do you not think that these gods shall seek vengeance? With all due respect, please forgive me, your highnesses, for being so blunt. I hope you will not take offense. I think that we must choose a more capable god to worship. I do not know what kind of god, but I do know that it must be a powerful god capable of defending both itself and its servants. What a pitiful sculpture he made. It looked like anything but what it was supposed to. A hideous sculpture, but it was a blessing for us. It has helped free us of polytheism. Let us go. <laughs> Adonia's shrewdness helped us to come to an important conclusion. That we must seek a mightier god. It was from then on that we continued to meet with Adonia and were brought closer each time to the one and only God. You must act more forcefully. Arrest all suspects. Do not leave one Christian in the entire city. Yes, Your Highness. Most of the city's renovations for the Emperor's visit have been done by Christians. I hope we will not encounter any problems for the welcoming ceremony. Live performances and gladiator fights before the Emperor are also part of the welcome ceremonies. Therefore, a number of Christians must be arrested. As I said, detain all those whom you think might be linked to Adonia. By arresting them, many others will be found. And I am confident that Maximilian and Helen will not be indifferent to the arrest of their fellow believers. We will see how long their patience prevails. Fine. We'll see how you do.
Get going. Yes, sir. He is a Christian. I saw with my own eyes that he did not bow down to Jupiter. He is a Christian! You are a wretched liar! Leave my house immediately! Arrest him! Let him go! Let him go! He has done nothing wrong! Let him go! Move! Hurry up! Come on, move faster! Get up! Stand up! Move! Get out of the way! Move! Faster! Come on, you dog! to be Christian. How can we be sure? Maybe there are even more of them. One cannot trust one's eyes anymore. No matter how many they arrest, it will not be enough. I fear that even with the coming of the Emperor... How embarrassing. Is this the color you want? We will not be able to get rid of them. think it's not the time to take action against Roman idol worshippers? Why should we witness the torture and murder of our brothers and keep silent? There is nothing wrong with acting against the Romans, Yuvanis. How it is done is important. Our presence in the palace as advisors to Diocletian is to the advantage of our fellow believers. Under the current circumstances, we can assist them in different ways and prevent certain actions from being taken against them, without doubt. We must avoid doing anything that could jeopardize our current position, unless we can achieve more useful results and attain more valuable goals. It is best that we divide the affairs of state between us. Oh, I agree. Telmika's responsibility is clear. As the royal court special physician, he can monitor the situation inside the palace and keep us informed. I shall be responsible for monitoring the actions taken against our fellow believers. I will try to take part in the secret meetings and gatherings of the Christians. The responsibility of establishing contact with Christian missionaries and active youth in the city will rest with His Highness Maximilian. It is foolish to allow these parasites to grow in number. They must be uprooted. Each and every one of us is responsible for making that happen. Keep a watchful eye on them. Yes, Your Highness. Take it. Quiet. Silent. Shut up. 
Watch your mouth. Go! Go! Come here! Silence! Quiet! Shut up! Shut your mouth! Go! Come here! Silence! Come here! Come! Silence! Quiet! Shut your mouth! No! No! Silence! Stop whining! Child! No! Like a baby! Shut up! Hurry up! Stop whining! Hurry up! The Christian. It's him! Get him! I am not Quick, a Christian! Now, I am not he's world. lying! Quick. I am not a Christian! It's a lie! It's not true! This dance by is lying! I am not a Christian! I will Why complain to the dog? gods! I will complain! I am not a Christian! You don't get up. me! I am not a Christian! Get up! I will complain Quiet. to the gods! I am not a Christian! Do not take me! Shameless wretch is also a Christian! Let me go! I must oh. kill him! What do you Pull want it away! Do you not know who I am? I will what kill him! Let me go! He's a Christian! You deserve to have your blood spilled right here! Take him! Get What's off. going on? We are arresting Christians, sir. I said set me free! Let him go! I told you to let him go! This wretched spy is lying! Did you not hear me? He is a Christian, sir. A Christian? Yes, your highness. He is a Christian, as a will found him out. No, I know him. He is not a Christian. Your Highness, he is a Christian. I know him. He travelled to and from Adonia time. He works for Maximilian, the son-in-law of His Highness Diocletian. You're trying to tell me he's a Christian? He is free to go. This is because of Adonia's escape. They shall not rest until they have him. Get out of here quickly. Yes, sir. Believe me, the price is reasonable. Why are you so hesitant? It's Just not worth buy the price. it.
Yes, I know him. He's right there. 